It's like, I know when my period is going to come because two days before I feel bulletproof and I'm like in the gym hitting it hard and can really go. And I'm like, why do I feel so great? Oh, that's why. Period. Right. And then other women like, how can you do that two days before? Like, I just don't get it. And it's when the hormones are actually dropping or when they have dropped. So this is where you start to really dial in and say, okay, well, I know the first two days of my bleed, I'm really lethargic. That's me. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not going to plan any super high intensity days or try to hit heavy loads in the gym because I just don't want to put my body in additional stress. As you go through and you're like, okay, well, the first few days feel really lethargic, but I know that by day four, I'm pretty good. So that's when I'm going to start scheduling in some more high intensity stuff, or maybe I haven't been training and those are the days I'm going to prioritize going and doing what I want to do in the gym or outside or whatever it is. But what I don't want people to think is that, okay, I know my patterns and I know when I feel really good and when I don't, but I don't want people to say, well, I can't do that because of my period. That's the thing. That's the thing where we hear all this, well, you can't do that because you feel lethargic. Well, do I feel lethargic so I can't? Or are you telling me I can't because I just told you I felt lethargic? It's like, yes, you can still do what you want to do. Because when we think about the physicality of movement, that can supersede a lot of the menstrual cycle hormone influences. So we have this conversation that women are delicate petals when they're on their period. And it's part of the constructs. So that's why I tell women, I really want you to understand how you feel across your menstrual cycle and not listen to the rhetoric that we've 